Without simulation, we wouldn't develop the car. We're measuring every element of that car's performance. We're using it to predict any health issues or reliability issues with the car, as well as using that data to help us to optimise its performance. That's very much what we do in F1 and have been doing for many years. Being able to take components to the racetrack with full confidence of the performance that they're going to give us when they actually are fitted to the car. And that's really the, the power of simulation. So we have more than six petabytes of managed data within the company. And a lot of it is simulation data. And a lot of it is also data that we collect at the racetrack. And what we're doing is using it to gain insight into our car, what worked, what did not work, how do we improve it, and using the data-driven approach to guide our development efforts. And often races can be won or lost by the work that goes on before we even arrive at the racetrack with development, simulation, and constantly improving the car using all of the information and tools we have available. I think we were an IoT company before IoT was even a term. And, and our car is instrumented with many sensors. Um, we get data from the car in real time. The reason we have sensors on the car are really for those performance factors and reliability factors. And, and obviously, because of the nature of the sport, we measure a lot more data in a lot more areas of the car than you probably would see on your normal road car. So we believe we have a very high return on investment. And our chassis is excellent, and we perform very well during a race. And in order to get there, we need to have designed an excellent car. And ANSYS is one of the key tools that allows us to do that. It's about the relationship we have with ANSYS. We need partners that come on board with us and really become one team. We value long-term partnerships and working with people that have the means to help us improve. It gives us a lot of confidence that ANSYS is here for the long term.